this video we're going to be installing and setting up NGX Bootstrap into our project and what we're trying to do is set up a drop down menu up here uh, for our profile like all our profile links like our logout link our reset password link we'll, we'll put it all inside this drop down and to help us do that we'll use uh, NGX Bootstrap so we'll be installing and setting this up in a second and also what we're trying to set up is something like this a drop down inside of our header so if we go back to our checklist, so the first thing we'll do is we'll install NGX Bootstrap and then we'll set up our shared module. This is very similar to all these steps that we're doing here. This is very similar in, to what we've been doing in the last couple of videos. We'll install it, we'll set it up in our shared module and then we'll configure our header component. Then also keep an eye out for these links down in the description. These are the pages that I'm gonna be referencing throughout the video. So let's install NGX Bootstrap. So if we go back to here and to here and click on get started and then copy this and we'll, we'll paste this into our command line. And then also we don't have to do this because we already installed bootstrap and set it up in a prior video. So we could skip the, uh, this step. So if we go back to our project within the spa in the command line, just paste and install. Why this is installing, we'll go and set up our module. So let's open up our, shared module inside of our shared folder and close this down and open up our shared module and then we'll bring in it bring in our imports so we'll go back to here now what i'm interested in, in this video is the drop down so click on this and then they show you how to import it into your module now you can pick this way if, if you're just interested in using just the drop down and nothing else but later on we're going to be setting up time picker and we'll also be using the date picker. So I'm just gonna do what they're doing right here. So copy this. And we already got the browser animation module being pulled in, so we don't have to do that. Let's go back to our module and paste it right here. And then also we'll bring it into our import. So go back here and copy and paste. So copy this back here and I'll paste that right below here and close it up. And that's all we really need to do in our module. So save this. We can close this down. So close this down. And then uh, let's open up our header component or HTML. So here, what we want to do is create another link. And this is going to be for our dropdown. Now I'm just going to go out to Bootstrap and copy and paste that. So let's go out and get that. What we're trying to replicate is this. So they got a piece of snippet here for us. And if you're trying to find this page, you could go from the home page. I'll have that link down in the description, but you could go click on documentation, then click on components. And then it's the nav bar, and then you'll find that right here. So um, let's go and copy this one right here. They have a drop down right here, so copy this. Let's go back and paste it into our project. I'll just throw this right at the bottom, and then we'll edit it. Now let's just get the uh, drop down part working right now. If we save this and go back here, uh, here, and it doesn't work. So let's get that working. And to get that to working, it's very simple actually. They give you a bunch of directives here. And all you need to use is this one, this one, and this one right here. And the drop down will work. So let's uh, just copy and paste. We'll just jump back and forth. So this needs to go to the outer container. In our case, it's the uh, LI. So I'll paste that here, paste. And then I'll go back here again, copy this. This needs to go to the button. In our case, it's the A tag. And jump back here. And this needs to go to the drop down. Make sure you grab the star in there. I didn't do that and it didn't work. So uh, make sure you grab that star. So copy and we'll put this to the drop down itself. In our case, it's the div tag. Let's save it. It should format it. Okay, so the, our drop down should be working now. So if we go back to here and go here, click on this. And now our drop down is working. Great. That's pretty much all you need to do to set up uh, NGX Bootstrap. So now what we're gonna do is just style it out a little bit. What we'll do is change the, the values, of course. To, like I'm thinking of just calling this like profile or something like that. Get rid of this carrot. Also, we wanna move everything to the right and get rid of this reset password after we add it to our drop down here. So now it's pretty much just editing everything. Let's go and start changing around the values here. First thing we'll do is just change this to profile like we'll probably change this later on, like have the username in here or something like that, or like a welcome message. But for now that'll work. And then also a lot of these attributes, we don't even need all of these. We can just get rid of these. 
and I'll just save it so it'll format it. And that is good. And also that um, carrot that you see, if we go back here, uh, that we can get rid of that just by removing this class right here, this drop down toggle. So let's get rid of this. Okay, and then now we're ready to move on to the drop down. Now the third link, we don't need this for now. We can get rid of this. Also that divider, we can get rid of that as well. And we'll just change around these two. This one, uh, we'll have it as the reset password. So reset password. Reset password. And also we have the working links right here. These, we could just copy this. Then we can get rid of this uh, li then. Get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. And just paste that right here. Replace the ref attribute. And save it so it formats it. Okay, so we should have a working reset password link. And this last link in the dropdown is going to be for our logout. And we'll actually get this working in the next video. But for now, I'm just going to put the text in there. So I'll put logout. Okay, and then we can also get rid of this. We don't need this. And save this. And that should still be working if we go and we check that out. And as you can see, the carrot's going. If we click on it, it's still working. Uh, we need to add some style for the uh, cursor, but we'll take care of that in a second. Now let's move all this to the right. And there's an easy way of doing that. We could apply the class to the, the UL, a bootstrap class. It's called ML Auto, and that will move all these links to the right. Let's take care of that real quick. So if we go back here, go inside of the, the UL, the container that's holding everything, and let's add a bootstrap class that's called ML Auto. Save this and then uh, check it out again. Okay, so everything's to the right. And as you can see, the drop down is off to the right now, so we need to take care of that. And they actually have a class for that. Um, I think it, I seen it on this page, I'm not sure. It was, uh, let me see here. Oh, here it is, that's right. So this will take care of that. So right here, they have a, a class you could just add. It's called drop down menu right. Copy this. And we need to add that to the drop down container. So if we go back here and we need to find the drop down container, and that is this div, and we'll just paste that right in here. Okay, save this. Let's go and check that out now. Okay, that looks great. In the next video, we're going to take care of um, switching these off and on the profile, the login, and register. So let's say, for example, the user's logged in, they won't be able to see these. So we'll toggle these off and on, but we'll take care of that later. Now let's take care of this styling issue. Like we'll add a cursor when we're hovering on this. And also we'll add some icons to this. Let's create our own custom class and I'll add that right here. I'll call this header nav or whatever you want actually. And then we're gonna apply a style to this. So just uh, copy this and let's go to our style sheet in here. And then you just, uh, so dot and then paste and then I want to target all the LIs inside of uh, the UL. And then I want to say cursor pointer like that. Save this. That should take care of that issue and make sure you save the header. Let's go back in the uh, browser and then when we hover on this that works very good. And all our LIs have the, uh, the pointer cursor. Now let's go and add a couple icons. So right here uh, we're going to have the key icon for the resetting the password. Actually, I can copy this. Then also we'll have sign out. We'll have this for the sign out. Uh, let's go and paste this into our code. So we go back here. And I'll add that within the A tag. Uh, where was that? Right here. So paste. And then we'll go back and grab the other one. And that is this one right here. Copy this. Go back here. And we'll add that right here. Save this and go back here. And that looks great. So that's pretty much it for this video. So what we did is we set up NGX um, Bootstrap. So now we could use this for a lot, a lot of other things as well. Like later on, we're gonna be using like the time picker, things like that. So we're all set up for that. In the next video, we're gonna be decoding JALT tokens uh, in the next video. So I'll see you then.